What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the No Power Stream. Um, this is an interesting pack. We were just talking about how it's frustrating to like have World Spine Worm, Triplicate Titan, and Flash in your deck, and over the course of seven games, you literally never see Flash. Yet in every game, you have either one or both of Triplicate Titan, Triplicate Titan, or uh, World Spine Worm in your hand. Um, it can be very demoralizing, and it also kind of makes me feel like the like. If ever I joke about the universe being a simulation, this is why. It's because it definitely feels like almost like it's a sitcom the way things unfold. It almost feels like this is so improbable and unrealistic that it has to be programmed this way. I mean, we're definitely taking Ragavan. I feel like I don't take Ragavan frequently and because it's it's obviously it's you don't open it all the time. I think I would take Bloodstained Mire if if Shieldred was not in this pack, but I'm definitely taking Shieldred here. And if we get like any wheel effects, that's pretty cool. Lelia is really good. This is a pretty solid one, three, and four plays. It, I, I feel like Black Cleave or Dark Ritual are very likely to wheel. Yeah, we'll take Lelia. We're just gonna steal our 03 incoming. Um, I don't I don't want to take a saga when we have I mean saga's great, don't get me wrong. But I think it fits in certain decks. We're not gonna be an artifact heavy deck based on these two. And also, like we have one one red turn one, double black. I don't want to really take a colorless land. However, I do love saga, don't get me wrong. Don't you dare get me wrong, cat with two heads. Don't you do it. All right, I'm going to close this old. Also, our, our previous deck wasn't, like, I don't think it was, like, groundbreaking or anything, but we had a lot of things going for it that just didn't really come together the way we wanted them to. Actually, I like that emote a lot. That's actually kind of cute. <laughs> Katie's bringing the doggies. She's, she went to go pick up the little doggies because they got their little haircuts. So I'm sure they'll come down here and say hi once once they get back. Oh man, I love a I love a Leovold. Can we take a Leovold for this deck? No. I understand. If we, I guess if we get the same luck as our opponents have been getting, I think Leovold's actually pretty fine. Oh yeah, Blood Tithe Harvester is very good. I honestly think I overlook this card a lot. I think I dismissed this card at first and I was like, eh, it's kind of meh. Um, but it, as it's grown on me, I haven't really reset my brain to like reevaluate it and I haven't been like oh okay actually this guy's good I can consider it now I still just kind of gloss over it when I see it it's definitely not intentional and it's definitely like this weird mental block that that sometimes happens when I play magic does that, does that happen to anybody else like you you evaluate a card and then you kind of like you mentally tune it out but even when you reevaluate it like it's still tuned out Can't pick a card with overlapping cards, two picks in it. What does that mean? I don't even understand what you're saying right now. Overlapping colors. That sounds terrible. Uh, kind of like Baleful Mastery here. I think it's expensive, but I also think it's kind of versatile. I think being able to cast it for two is really solid. I actually took this out of my queue, but then I put it back because I'm like, you know what? Even if they get to draw a card, like being able to cast it for two when you really need to is, is pretty valuable. We're definitely taking Blood Crypt here. I was looking at Ophiomancer, but then I saw Blood Crypt, and that's exciting. Oh, Atali? Look, let's be real. I'm taking Atali and hoping Seething Song comes back, and then we can turn for Atali. This is just, we're just playing Black Red Good cards. I really can't not take Atali. I I'm going to be honest. Like, it's just dinosaurs. It's playing free cards. It's a big fat 7-7 seven, seven idiot. And he only costs 7, which isn't really that much. 
I actually really like Gix. I was suspicious of Gix at first, but I think this card has like surpassed my expectations. I think this guy is very, very good. Like if I have both of these guys out and then I play a Gix, I'm drawing two cards. Like it's pretty good. So Michael took a, a big diarrhea doo-doo in the, in the bathroom. And he sent us a message and said, I closed the door and left the fan on for Frank's sake. It smells awful. Do not go in my bathroom for a bit. LMAO. So. Good good times here at the at the household. I'm going to take Terra Sunder. If we end up being able to splash it, like it's a good removal spell. I don't care about Wish Claw or Desperate Ritual. Uh, Metamorph is actually great. And it is a, blue, a black red card. So that's pretty good. I'll just take Metamorph. This is the content I tune in for. Mutual <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, it was something. Let's just say I heard the the beginning opus of the of the event. Don't like that. No, don't like that. It was a wonderful, just a wonderful experience. Oh, Black Cleave Cliffs did come back. We're definitely taking that over Squee. I think Squee is actually just fine. But I'm not going to I'm not going to pass a on color fixing land for that. What am I, a maniac? What am I, my opponents? <laughs> Uh, good times. Oh, Masqueron came back? That guy's playable. I was tempted to pick this the first time because I just think it's kind of underrated. I'll take a Fiery Islet. I'll take an Elvenwald Oddity. I'll take a Spectral Procession. I don't want any of them, but I'll take them because that's how drafting works. You gotta take them, man. You gotta take the cards, you know? Jace the Mind Sculptor. Fallen Shinobi. <sighs> Through the Breach actually seems pretty good here. I would like the Savai Trium. But I think Through the Breach actually gives us a strategy. We already have Massacre Worm and Atali, which could be very good with Through the Breach. I love Eugene. But we're not a deck that's going to be casting a Eugene. God, Stuart just loves Eugene, you know? And, like, this is early enough. This is first pick pack two. It gives us enough time to find some big fat idiots. Um... If Caracas comes back, that'd be great. If Savai Trium comes back, that'd be great. But yeah, I think we're through the breaching. Like, we already have two guys that are just fine with the breach. I had a discussion with my friend Matt today about Yawgmoth. I have yet to ever play a Yawgmoth. And I've never had Yawgmoth played against me in the cube. I think he's an awesome card. I think he's really well designed. We were talking about that. And, like, one of the big questions, one of the big, like, issues Matt and I have is, like, well, I guess it's not so much for me. Like he has this problem where he like he wanted the vintage cube to be like a magic museum. Like it's 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 displaying all the coolest designs and coolest cards in magic, right? But the problem is like when cards like Yogmoth go like 13th, 14th, 15th pick and no one's playing them and no one's playing against them and like it, it, there's a point where it's like, okay, this is a great design, but no one's playing it. So like yeah, I do think it's relic. I was also thinking of life death. But we're so far from any sort of reanimator strategy that I think it's fine. Plus, it's just very good. It just lets us ramp and splash at the same time. But yeah, like the problem with Yawgmoth is that like, it's a great design. It's a super cool card. It's flavorful. It's, it, it hits every bar. It's competitive and constructed. The problem is like, if no one is drafting this card in the cube, just put in a card that people are playing. You know what I mean? Like, it's just not good enough. That's just the bottom line. No, because then you're, then you're, then you're, skew, why would you skew your cube to support a single card rather than take that one card out and put cooler cards in? You know what I mean? Like he, he was saying that like he literally put in P and Karen Alar and Siege Gang Commander to support Yawgmoth, but like that's two more cards that no one really cares about taking. 
like no one's gonna t- like siege gang is just worse than any other five drop red has it's worse than like thunder maw glory bringer gold span dragon so like you end up putting in cards like siege gang commander just to support Yogmoth, but then no one's taking those either but it's not the, the point is we don't want it to be a library of magic that that's not what it should be about like that's not what the cube should be. The cube should be uh, the cube should be gameplay first. That's that's my philosophy. If you're just having a cool, like you can just open a cube and look through it. If all you want is a museum and a card design like uh, display, right? Like I don't have to actually play these cards. Like if I'm just putting in cool cards from Magic's history that I like the design of, like I can just look at them. I, I don't think Robber is that good. I actually cut Robber a while back. And then every time it's played against me or it's played, I'm just like not super impressed. I Chandra is fantastic. I hope Graven Karens or Incinerate comes back. I'd probably take this guy if he came back. Interesting. I think this is probably a much better Call of the Ring deck for sure. Yeah, let's take Call of the Ring. Also, Skull Clamp. But like we don't have many Skull Clamp interactions here. Also, if Fire Blast comes back, I'd be grateful. I'm going to take this. Oh, Ulamog? With Through the Breach? In this economy? Hmm. Okay. Yep, we'll take that guy. All right. We're breaching. Oh, and Animate Dead? Oh, God. Are we just reanimating now? It's really interesting, because sometimes you start out with this Black-Red mid-range deck, but then, like, Black-Red has so much support for reanimate and for, like, sneaking that, like, you just kind of end up going for it. I think, I think animate is just too good. Even if we just take creatures that we've killed, it's just so good. Okay. That's it. That's the, that's the game boys. <sighs> yep. That's the, it's your lady. Uh, Una's Prowler facilitates reanimate. Also Fallen Shinobi. Ooh, that's interesting. We do have Fiery Islet and Phyrexian Metamorph. I want to be honest. I think Fallen Shinobi is so much better than Una's Prowler that I think it's worth taking just in case we find a really efficient way to splash it. Look, here's a, look, here's Yawgmoth. Like no one takes it. That's the problem, man. No one takes this card. I'll take it now, but I mean, we have like, there's no synergy with it. Plus like the cube is so mildly creature based that like paying a life and sacrificing a creature to put a negative one, negative one counter on something is just not super impressive. We can take Mizzix mastery in case we get some cool synergies with it. Right. That's what I mean. Like it just goes in a very specific deck and the number of cards, like, one of my, my main philosophies is like, I, I want to remove a redundancy and I want to remove linearity. Linearity, I don't know if that's a word, but it should be. If a card has a single use, like something like Desperate Ritual or Pyretic Ritual, these are two mana cards that add one single mana. They net you one single mana. The only decks that ever play them are Storm decks. And it's just completely underwhelming. I would rather, I would, okay, well, we got Robber back. I also like Thief of Sanity way more than Robber. I don't think we can pivot that heavily into Grixis, though. I'll just take Robber. Oh, wow, that's a late crater hoof that we can throw the breach in. That's kind of funny, actually. So, yeah, like, when I have a card, I want it to have multiple functions. Like, I have Null Priest of Oblivion, for example, in my cube. Oh, wow, that's a late troll. We're definitely taking troll. That's phenomenal. Wow, our deck's looking pretty great. Grief and Minskin Boo. Wow. I mean, I'm I'm real tempted to just Minskin Boo here, to be quite honest. We don't have any lands for it. We just have Coalition Relic. It's got to be Grief. That's greedy as fuck. Also, here's a flash. <laughs> if Talisman comes back, I'd be pretty pretty grateful. Magda's also fine. 
Yeah, maybe Magda Wheels. I'd be great. I'd be great with that. I wonder if it's just Ancient Tomb. I think we have enough really to take advantage of Ancient Tomb. We have Lelia, Coalition Relic, Chandra, Gree, all of our four drops. I think we're just taking Ancient Tomb here. Also, I like Mystic Confluence and Counterspell a lot. I like Magma Opus. I think my Opus is interesting, especially because we can splash it and we do have Mizzix Mastery. I mean, we'll put Massacre Worm on the sideboard for now. I don't think we're going to be playing Massacre Worm. Ugh, this is so tempting. I'm going to take the Ancient Tomb. I think it's correct. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Ancient Tomb into Sneak Attack is juicy. I'm really glad we got these two Eldrazi over here, my dudes. <laughs> what the fuck? What? Is this a fourth pick Mana Crypt? We got Sneak Attack, Ancient Tomb, and Grief, right? This is fourth pick Mana Crypt. You don't need to, you don't need to be in specific colors to take this. You just take it, right? Like, you, I don't know why three people would have passed this. I'm very confused. <laughs> like, I get if one pack had two pieces of power, right? That's pass, pass. But then, what about the third person? What? I think it's just Fire Covenant here. I mean, P and Karen Alar again, like this is like, this is a kind of underwhelming card that I took out of my queue as well. They put a lot of bodies on the board, but I just feel like a 2-2 two -two and two one ones is just not super, I don't want to say effective, but like impactful in the cube. Underdog is decent. I just think we have a good number of two drops right now. Hey, look, another Ulamog. Thank you. Oh my god. Eric with 10 gifted subs? My god. The 10 gifted subs is like, this is a theme, man. Thank you so much, dude. Really, really appreciate you, my, my buddy. Thank you. That's awesome, dude. Thank you so much, man. I think it's just exhume. Do we have a way to discard things efficiently? Thank you. Not really, I guess. I don't think we're reanimating, I'll be honest. <sighs> Ulamog doesn't do much. Thank you. I'm going to take it. I think it's better than anything else, and it leaves us open. Oh, necromancy. Good lord. Thank you. What if we hit an entomb, man? Cat with two heads with five gifted subs? Oh my god, you guys are wonderful. Oh my god, cat with two heads, thank you. You guys are Thank fucking you. cool, man. All right, we're just taking necromancy because it's just—I think it's just better than exhum. Thank you. What's our way to get things in the graveyard? I mean, I guess we just cycle this guy. <laughs> I would have really liked another land to come back, but thank you. This pack is brutal. Oh, cool. Another thank you <laughs> from Eric. Totally normal. Totally normal. Uh, sub gifting marathon that's happening right now. Totally normal. Thank you. Wow. Uh, no, we took something else instead of Una's Prowler. I forgot what it was. Oh, we took Fallen Shinobi instead, which is why I'm taking Dark Slick Shores now. Thank you. Because honestly, if, if Fallen Shinobi is our 23rd card. Uh, and we have like Fire Islet and Dark Slick Shores Thank you. and Coalition Relic. I'm pretty okay with that. Oh my God. Eric and Cow with Two Heads. Thank you guys so much, man. Thank you. Fucking that really, well, it's a great way to turn the day around. Like when you, when you lose your last round and you feel like kind of like poop, you know? I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm pretty much okay from, from it, but I think it's just frustrating. Oh, the talisman came back. That's kind of cool. I don't think this is, this card's really confusing to me. I mean, I get what it does, but like, I never know if the activated abilities are like that. Is Lightning Greaves good enough? Thank you. 
Or is it Talisman? I feel like it could be Talisman, especially because we have so many four drops. Yeah, I like it because of the four drops. I'm going to take Fire Thank Covenant you. out. I also really don't care about Robert. Oh, wow. Magma Opus came back? Thank you. Is that better than Graveyard Trespasser? We got the Mastery. We got another source of blue mana. Thank you. What? What in the earth? <laughs> MG Power is giving 25 subs? Thank you. I almost feel like I have to turn off the, the notifications because this is actually not sustainable. What the fuck? you. <laughs> what in the earth, man? You guys are incredible. Yes, turn them off. Oh my God. Hold on. I have to mute them at the very least, Thank right? You. Oh my god! I don't know how to I don't know how to do it fast enough. Uh, let's just take Bullets and Citadel, I guess. I don't know what to do. Thank you. Oh, Murder Shrider is actually a nice late pickup, and you get the Underdog too. I would rather play Underdog than Robber, I think. Thank I, you. This card's kind of on it. This is like a like a poor man's Ophiomancer. Can't even block. They can't Thank block. You. Why can't they block? Did we even take Magma Opus? I have no idea what happened. I'm pretty sure I blacked out Thank you. when we were making our picks. Did I take Talisman instead of Magma Opus? Is that what happened? I don't know. I think I blacked out. Thank you. This is this is un this is unwatchable. People on the YouTube are gonna be like, sorry, I tuned out, man. That was terrible. When you were getting all that support, I couldn't Thank even watch you. anymore. Okay, I'm gonna assume this is a land. Thank you. Okay, you're going to go here. Thank you. Thank you. I kind of don't care about necromancy or animate dead, I'll be honest. I think that's probably wrong. Thank you. But we also don't have a lot of great ways to get creatures into the graveyard. And we also don't have those big creatures. I think this is more of a sneak attack than a reanimate deck. And if I just cut those. Thank you. Okay, hold on, hold on. I clo I had to close it. It had to, it had to be done. There's no, there's nothing. Oh no, it's still going. Thank you. Oh my God. It won't stop. It won't stop. Properties. Oh my God. How do I stop it? Thank you. Even when it's off, it's, it still goes. It's not visible. I'm not showing it. Okay, I muted the desktop audio. That's got to do it. Now I'm only going to hear it on my end. Okay, I'm good gravy. Good gravy. No good deed goes unpunished. Look, and now the daily sub goals overlapping over the other thing. Hold on, let me fix that. <laughs> That's hilarious. What a bunch of unexpected issues. Okay, I just saved it. There we go. That looks beautiful. Okay. Let me know if you you can't hear it, right? Am I just the only one hearing it? Let me tell you something. One thing I'm always like, God, how can you guys... Like, I hope you're not financially stressing yourself to give so many subs or like to support the channel. And it really, really... Like, it's something I'm I'm like, I hope you guys are are, are doing well, right? So, like, for MTG Pyro to be like, I'm tempted to do another 25, um, it kind of makes me feel, like, I, I, I assume you're doing well. Like, because the economy is kind of, it's kind of sucks. I got laid off. I know people have it rough. So, like, if you guys are able to support content creators and, like, streams and stuff like that, like, fucking awesome. I'm super glad you're able to do it. Like, it makes me happy that, like, you're in a position to do that. We need one more cut. That being said, this deck looks pretty sweet. Are we about, we're, we're splashing Fallen Shinobi. We have Coalition Relic, Dark Slick, and Fiery Islet. Is that good enough, or do we just cut Fallen Shinobi? I think we cut Fallen Shinobi. I think we stick with two colors. 
And I think it makes us feel a lot better about our life choices. Oh, thank God. I'm so glad it's muted for you guys. Cause it's still going. It's still going. So when I get committed and end up going to the insane asylum, they're going to be like, yeah, he just keeps repeating. Thank you to himself over and over again. It reminds me of that one weird key and peel skit, you know, I don't know why he says it like that, but it sounds almost identical. Uh, this seems good. Sort by the color. All right, so we're going to go 7-5. I'm totally fine with that. Have a good night. Are you leaving? Where are you going? You can't just... Oh, you just came to support. Okay. <laughs> well... Eric, dude, I, I totally appreciate it, man. Thank you so much, dude. I hope you have a great night. I hope your night is absolutely wonderful. That's fucking awesome, dude. What a what a feeling, man. You made my night. Really appreciate it. I mean, so did MTG Pyro, and so did Cow with Two Heads, and so did everyone else who donated subs earlier. Like, you guys are fantastic, and I really appreciate you. God, I always keep undercutting me on lands. Add another red. Don't add another black. Just stop it. Get some help. Oh, okay. Hold on. I can, I can, I can unmute now, and then we can do a stop it. Get some help. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What? Why? Why? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So the funny thing about that is that literally the only reason Stuart donated forty-four subs, forty subs. Is because he wants me to go crazy. So, <laughs> See, that's the good thing. Stuart's one of my best friends. And the only reason he did that is because he's like, I want that motherfucker to hear thank you forever. And so here we are. So, you know. That's cool. I'll be dead soon. Stuart, I love you, man. I really, really appreciate it. Oh, Christ. I muted it, too. It's all gone. It's all muted. Okie dokie. Yeah. No, I love my friends to death. They're fucking wonderful. And I love you guys to death, too. And do, I think we were doing a, a draft here. I don't even know. I'm trying to I'm trying to put my mana in the deck. I'm trying to sort it and do the thing. And All right. Well, I think this is the deck. I wouldn't know. I mean, I almost tempted to play Muta Vault, to be honest. We're actually pretty close to a Muta Vault. You can go here. Muta Vault also is a rogue as well, so it works for Robber of the Rich. Yeah, I was, every day I'm like, you know what? It'd be great if we hit our sub goal, but you know what would be even better? If we hit 2,000% of our sub goal. <laughs> Yeah, the 1,000 slash 5. 1,000 power, 5 toughness vanilla creature is really... What's the casting cost for that guy? 3 mana? Because power creep? I don't know. Jesus, you guys are ridiculous. Thank you guys so much, man. I really appreciate you. You fucking saints. 4 black? <laughs> that checks out. Uh, you know what? It's like... It's got a thousand power. We should at least be five mana. Maybe, yeah, maybe that's true. Maybe in the future I'll just set my my daily sub goal at a hundred. You know what? If I could set my sub goal at a hundred and then hit it every day, I think I think I'd be doing quite well. Because that's more than just maintaining. That is that is significant growth on a daily basis. I'm sorry. What did that? And as you probably was gifting another 25. It's clear you're not here for the magic, because if that were the case, you'd be I'd be able to play magic a little easier, I think. It just won't fucking stop. The, far, the worst part is I don't actually know how far into the thank yous we are. We're on Kiki's Kikiest of the Jiki, actually. So let's see how far back that is. Oh god, we're still on Stewart's. 
Oh, Jesus, I'm going to have an aneurysm. Oh, God. Uh, the, the chat doesn't even go back that far. Oh, it's literally like halfway through Stewart's. Okay, cool. So only about 35 left to go. Thank you. Uh, this is a turn one Ragavan into a turn two Lelia. That seems good. 35 for now, that is. I'm just grateful that you guys can't hear the thank yous because... Should I just mute it? Like, for my own well-being? For my own mental... For my own mental health? It's just so... It's so repetitive. It's so bad. Um, oh, God. What sweet hell hath I wroth? Hath I wroth? Is that... Is that a saying? It's not the worst thing, right? It's it's a very it's a very considerate thing. So if I'm in the psych ward and I have to repeat something, like that's a good one. Oh, does she get two counters because they're both exiling cards? Do they have a swords or a path that they're gonna they're gonna hit us with? So next turn we get to sneak attack Emrakul, so that's pretty cool. And I think the game ends on turn three. So that's pretty good. What did we hit? I don't even know what we hit. We got a Venser and a Murderous Rider. Okay. Oh, it's it's not exiled from... It's uh, whenever one of our cards are put in exile from your library and or your graveyard. Okay. Whatever this is, it's just going in the garbage can. I have faith. I have faith that Emrakul can stop whatever they're doing. Even if it's a portal. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Oh, you're actually playing a game? I've been watching this weirdly repetitive Peaky and Peel skit. I'm gonna, I have to turn, I want to turn it off, but I want you guys to know it's happening. Oh, here's Wally. Why? Why? Oh my God, look at his little haircut. Hi, little champ. What are you doing? Okay, whoa. He just wiggled right down there. All right. Wait, they wastelanded this? Oh, stink. I didn't even see it. Oh, biscuits. Oh, well. I mean, I guess we get this. Wow, what a jerk. It's still going, guys. I don't even know if, if anything else has happened. So this is so much to keep track of. My brain is actually pudding right now. They call him old Frankie Pudding Brains. Oh, next time we actually don't get this because we had to use a, a Ragavan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He's losing his goddamn mind. Okay, well, that's sad. They can't attack, though. We have the high ground. I mean, do we attack with everything? They're going to block Lelia. No, I think we just play this guy and pass. There's really no benefit. They have two cards, so this guy's not going to trigger. Lelia might, but I don't think it's... I mean, Lelia will trigger, but I don't think it's worth just running it into that. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Mana Crypt, Shieldred. Okay, well, I'm going to run Shieldred out there because I think, A, if we draw another land, we can just sneak an Emrakul, and B, like, if they counter something, I think it's probably better that they counter Shieldred. 
but they did not. So now we're just gonna just gonna kind of sit on that and still going. They're still going. We also lost like 15 viewers. They're probably like, you know what? I can't stand this. This is terrible. I kind of don't want to play this because they could have anything, you know? Are we at a point where we can just alpha? Like, what do they do? They block here. All of these guys block here. They have four, five, six, seven, eight. Not yet. Let me cast this from your grave. I think we're just blitzing this. That nah, doesn't make any sense. We can just we just we can just attack with it next turn, right? Or does it make sense? Oh yeah, we're blitzing. Yeah, that's what I want. I want a blitz to blitz for the card to hit a land, and also like we're going to we're going to gain two, so it's not really that much of a big deal. I just want that card, you know. Give Papa his card. That's the one we wanted. Yeah, I'm just gonna play that. No, don't play that. This one. So Katie just said the boys heard me on their on her computer upstairs and the, the doggies didn't know where I was. They couldn't figure out where I was. Man, I love those little those little kids. Babe, it's literally been saying thank you for the past 40 minutes. Between between Eric Jardine, Stuart, uh MTG Pyro. Uh, cat with two heads, like it's they, they've all, they've all, they've all gone crazy. <laughs> and pretty soon I'm going crazy because of the thank yous. Oh, they just played Golos. Yeah, we'll just kill them. Oh, look at that. How wonderful. Fingers crossed you don't have the, the, the good goods. You don't even know how lucky you were. To kill that ancient tomb. They got floaty blocks. Attack with everybody. Okay. <laughs> That's okie dokie. I think it's over. I think it's over. I'm like the fucking dog meme where like it has like the war images in the background and the dog's just staring into the camera. That's me right now. Massacre Room is interesting because they have Battle Sphere. They also have Golos. I wish my kingdom for like a Kolagon's command. That would be that would be great because then or what's the other one? Uh, Braid? Yeah, those would be great. I don't think we have a ton of great artifact removal. I do kind of like Massacre Room though. Yeah, I think I've I've gotten into a habit to be like my kingdom for I've, like, I keep saying my kingdom for X like it's just kind of like my go to and I really need to condition myself to say it less. I apologize. I realized that there I was like, oh my god, I'm just giving away my kingdom for literally everything. Hmm. I'll take out the underdog for massacre worm. Why not trade somebody else's game? Well, it's not, it's, it's morally gray. I think giving away other people's things, you know, <laughs> I don't want, I don't want you to lose tracks of land and surfs for nothing. No, I mean, that's fair. Yeah. Those, those are more valuable sometimes than a single card draw. So it's hard to, it's hard to part with one for the other. Is that Watson? Watson? Oh my God, you're so handsome. He's so handsome. Have you played Baldur's Gate 3? Not yet. 
The amount of things I've heard about Baldur's Gate 3, though. Oh, oh no. Wasn't. Stop looking at A Bomat career. What is this dick? Mox Opal Bumaker? What is even happening? Okay, well, there are two Eldrazi in our hand. This could be rough. Wasn't. Come here. Where'd you go? Dang, I think he left. Watson has been bad since his fresh cut. He immediately got in the car and started ripping up McDonald's bag. <sighs> Watson, why? Yeah, once they get those cuts, they feel like they got a new lease on life, you know? Okay. What is going on? Oh, it's old hee-haw. Well, this is kind of slow, kind of a slow start. Uh. Wasn't get out of there. Oh my god, he's being so bad. What are you naming? Sneak attack? Blood tithe harvester? He can't even kill the thing which stops him. Sad. Very sad. Oh, wow. That's a fascinating card. Interesting. I think we have to do this. I also think any black and we get to just play Massacre Worm next turn, which is pretty cool. But right now, I think we're going to play a little Gixie. And we'll get in there because we either draw a card or we trade with our Revoker. So Revoker, got it. So I think we can pretty easily discard a red here. We have five mana. We don't need a third red source. Oh, we I mean, yeah, we even for sneak attack, we just have the we just need the two. Alright, you got a lot of artifacts. That this much I understand. Discard card. Mountain. I guess we could have also discarded, like, Ulamog, right? Especially if we don't have a land to play here. That's going to be sad, but... Nailed it. So, we're going to go land. Relic. Do they double block here? Yeah, I actually was. I've been meaning to update the um, the GIF. I'm tempted to attack, but I don't know if it's worth. Like they're not. They're just gonna double block, and I don't care about either of these. But I don't want them to attack either, and then just draw three cards. So I think it's probably fine to get a free card here. Interesting. Oh. Okay, so next turn's going to be decent. We just have to survive. Look at our hand. <laughs> our hand is Ulamog, Emrigal, Mazakarum, Atali. We got the old 6, 7, 11, 12. I'll put him in casting cost order. Replace it with a gif of you saying thank you in a t-shirt costume is literally like a suggestion Kerwit would make. 
Sneak attack would be great. We could probably put we could put all three of all we could put four of them into play. Right? Red, 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 red. So we go red, one, two, three for sneak, and then one red, two red, three red, four red. That would be fantastic. I would love it. They're definitely sacking Bowman here, right? Because their hand is probably Junko. They have six mana. So not enough for like mere battle sphere. Yep, that's what I figured. Discarded Mindslaver and Sphinx of the Steel Wind. For three random cards. Spara's Headquarters, that's one. Spin that top. I mean, the nice thing is, no matter what we draw, we can still play Atali and Massacre Worm, so... The bad thing is they have top and all of our big shit is in our hand. So top just means that like they can f give us the worst of the top three cards to to hit off of off of top. And we won the flip. My God, the rich get richer. Um, fascinating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. I feel like it's a Tali here. <laughs> oh, good times. So what I got one, two. Fingers crossed you don't have counterspell. And reprieve. Starting with the white is interesting. Hmm. Probably gonna top and rearrange. I mean, the nice thing is you drew the the two cards you have off of off of Bomat Curio, so it's not like they're they're not two cards you sculpted a hand around. It's not like you've had a counter spell and you've been holding it and and kind of saving it. Like these are just two random cards that you picked up, so. All right, let's see what we get. Oh, they're gonna draw the card. Okie dokie. Oh, you're gonna give me a top. Okay, sure. I mean, that's not the worst, I guess. And let's get rid of Sphinx because I feel like that could be problematic if they have any sort of way to get it back. Look at the top three cards of your library. We got Grief, Ancient Tomb. So let's go, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Let's put the Ancient, do we play land this turn? Yeah, we played a Mountain, or a Swamp, rather. Yeah, let's keep Ancient Tomb on top. And then we can hard cast an Ulmog. So I don't want to give them top, but I actually probably should have just kept grief on top, and then I could have griefed them this turn just so they don't have anything good. Well, it disables the second ability, but we still get to draw. They just get it. It just goes on top of their library. Oh, they're just cycling a miscalc. Okay. Joke's on you. That would have been good next turn. Oh, it's kind of funny. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine total mana. So we literally played around Miskelk <laughs> with a dolly.
That's pretty good. I agree. If you can't miss Calcatali, it's like it's you're at a point where you're like, you know what? You got it. Unfortunately, we're gonna hard cast an Ulog next turn, so it's not even one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, just making just making sure our man is looking looking hot. They have four cards. God, so many cards. Oh, you're getting in there with this little little lady. Well, I will block with this tiny gentleman. In case you have like a dismember and you want to kill my Atali, I don't want you to do that, so. I don't love flipping Atali because it's just there's a lot of things they can they can do about it. Heads. I lost? Dang. It's messed up. Well, we have to cast it first. I guess we're griefing for free, right? That just makes sense. Let's grief. Yeah, and I guess if we can grief and then transform, like then we just win. Right? That's cool. I like winning. Winning makes me feel good. Uh, choose an opponent. There's only one. Oh, we just win. Okay. Sounds good. All right. That was satisfying round one. Okay. So we got five more gifted subs from MTG Pyro. Thank you. To thank me from coming back from the bathroom, I guess. And, uh, now we're going to try win round two. Only five. Yeah, that's I, I appreciate you being a little more reasonable. Oh, man, this hand is so close to good. If, there's a, if there was a mountain on top or a red source, I would windmill slam this. Go Turn one Ragavan, turn two Coalition Relic. We're on the draw. We have a land. Is there? A, if there's a land in the top two, we get to play relic into rag. I'm gonna keep it. I'm live. I'm living it. I'm living. This is. We have to risk it for the biscuit. You don't get the biscuit if you don't risk it, right? This is not the worst hand you've kept. I mean, like we have land. We have playables. If we hit a red source, we go turn one relic, turn two Chandra. If we don't and we hit a land on turn two, we go turn two relic into Ragavan. Like, I don't know. Not terrible. Any land off the top gets gets our gears going, you know? Uh, preferably a red land. They went to six. This could end really, real badly, though. It could also start wonderfully. Okay, that gets the gears going. We'll just play this. Next time we'll go Ancient Tomb, Relic, and Dragoman, right? Ooh, that's interesting. I assume they have a counter spell. Oh, they did not. All right. Well, that went well. I feel like our opening is is good. What? There's nothing on there. Um, do we just attack? 
We definitely attack first. See if we hit a land or something. Can we play lands? I don't know how this guy works. Brain freeze. That's a win con for you, I think. Um, one, two, three. We can actually go one, two, three, four, Chandra, and then play Collaring. Or we can just grief here. Let's grief. Dream Halls, World Spine Worm. Oh yeah, we have double Eldrazi in our deck. That's actually pretty great. Choose and discard it. I don't want you to discard Echo. Probably just pitching your Dream Halls. You're two turns away from Dream Halls, but like if you draw Flash, it's pretty brutal for us. So they go land. We go attack for five. Oh, I guess we can just metamorph grief next turn. Yeah, let's take the worm. Goes back in the deck. Is Flash in the cube? I don't think so. I don't think they put it in. I haven't seen it personally, but... Yes, it is. I don't think so, MTG Pyro. No, I don't think so, guys. I can't tell if they're trolling. I, I, I don't know what's going on because last round... Uh, so they have... They played Urborg. So they have Mountain Dream Halls. This other dude. Yeah, I get to see it during the draft portion, just not during... The other portion. Oh, this is also turns on our makes our ancient tomb uh, a little safer. So whether we tap this for I like I want to keep this up. God, getting that coalition relic mana before you actually attack with Ragavan is is less fun. Imperial seal, huh? I don't think I care about Dream Hall. Oh, this is a sorcery. I think we gotta get rid of Dream Halls. Yeah, we'll make them cast their Echo of Eons like, like we did back in the day. Oh, we could have also played Chandra, then used the two mana from Chandra to... Um... What is this? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. They're at five. Yeah, I think that would have been better. We would have taken two more damage, but we would have got a Chandra in play as well. I think that probably would have been more effective. Yeah, we're just going to pass here. I don't think Call is, is going to be quick enough. Oh, we just win. Okay, great. I am a fan of winning the game. Okay, so we can take out Infernal Grasp and Baleful Mastery. I don't think those are going to be super effective here. Uh, I can see bringing in Vortex. Is Yawgmoth going to do anything? Probably not. Take Call of the Ring out too. We can bring in Necromancy and Exhum. Exhum is probably better than Animate Dead against them. But how are we getting things in the graveyard? Hmm. 
I mean, I guess they can just go there naturally. I do like them having Brain Freeze and us having two Eldrazi in our deck. Oh yeah, they are Brain Freezing. I like that there were we're twenty six hundred percent of our our sub goal today. So that feels like we made it. <laughs> what did I miss? You missed one hundred and thirty subs for a bunch of absolute maniacs. That could be you, but you playing. And now we're waiting for our opponent to, to finish their sideboarding. What is that, a booger? A fort bush. I don't know what that is. I also don't even know what the reference... I don't, I don't know what the reference is or what the meaning is in this context, so... You know, it's going well. Interesting. Do we keep this hand? I feel like it's hard to pass a hand with Mana Crypt and Ulamog because it makes Sneak Attack... It makes a lot of our cards a lot better. The hand itself is not exciting, but I think we have a lot of good draws that are possible here. Like, if we hit Sneak Attack or Through the Breach, like, it's just... Or that guy. Thanks, bro. Also, this guy seems very good against uh, any kind of Storm deck that's going to either Underworld Breach or... I guess Past in Flames isn't a thing anymore. Oh, and I won the flip. Amazing. Oh, and this guy flipped. Amazing. I will choose none. Oh, you got it. Senor Strixington. I would love a way to kill that thing. Are oh, you gonna preordain too? Man, this guy's got all the all the the can trippers. I lost. Where's the justice? Well, I don't really want to attack here for obvious reasons. I guess we're just playing this. It's a little dangerous, but you know, especially if we lose our, if we lose our flips, but you know, you got to live and learn. What are we learning? I don't know. There it is. There's your guy. Boy, it's always nice when they have it. Might as well get in there with Baleful Strix, right? All right. Looking good. Looking good. So I think we're dead. We go take 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then we die to our own. Yep, that's cool. That was a good game. Three cards away. Okie dokie. Sounds good. Hey, I don't really see anything that's like that's looking better than what we have. Mm. I feel like maybe I'm not so hot on 
Vortex. Maybe it is Infernal Grasp, just because we can kill like Baleful Strix with it. Like we don't have a ton of burn. Like we don't have Colagon's Command. We don't have a Braid. We don't have Incinerate. Um, just hands a little. Slow. Actually, turn two Harvester. Turn three Relic. Or yeah, this actually seems fine. Although if we can if we can top deck a uh, Mana Crypt, I'll be immensely grateful for our turn two grief. That was not it, but I will probably play this guy. It's Robert of the Rich. Oh! -ho! Oh, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> that's, that's 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 not that's not a thing we want to do. I got excited for a second, and now I'm less excited. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, we can grief with it, but I mean, we can just cast grief too, right? I think we're just coalition relicking here. Ripping their flash though, it, it seems really good. Like if they have World Spine Worm stranded in their hand or something, that's very nice. You got it. Let's yield until the end step because we don't have anything to do before then. Yeah, unfortunately, Ulamog is a cast trigger. And it's not like show and tell. You can't just put it into play, you know? Black, black, demonic tutor. Put a charge counter. Land. Through the breach. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Any turn you attacked with it or dealt damage with it? You know, that was pretty good. Oh, we just win the game. Okay. So 2-0. Going into the third round again. Yep. Through the Breach, Emrakul, or Ulamog is a, definitely a thing. This is a turn three shielder. Ah, uh, this seems just fine. I would love a mana crypt, but come on. Let's not be too greedy. I'm not even sure we're going to cycle troll here. Baleful Mastery. Yeah, we're going swamp and then we're going to play the shoulder to grief next turn. I'm 
that's it, huh? I kind of want to lead with grief, even though I want to get shoulder down sooner. That uh, feels correct. <laughs> wow. Why did you tap the mana first? I, I guarantee you they have nothing to do with this. Okay, weird. <laughs> just like, it was like a super weird habit. I have nothing that costs one. And you don't have any islands. But I'm going to tap this anyway. Yeah, Alright, man. Whatever. Whatever makes you feel good. Red-blue feels like it should be safe for Shieldred. They're just gonna they're just gonna do some nonsense. That's fine. That's not That's not super obnoxious. They just get in there for oh what? Wait, what? Uh okay. Yeah, okay. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We can just cast troll. Interesting. Cast him as a man. We don't have we don't have quad black though, so we can't actually cast him as a man right now. Next turn we could. So we play him, we block here, we take not a ton. I doubt they're blocking. Look at these fat idiots we got. Oh, we just win. <laughs> Okie dokie. Yeah, our deck seems pretty good. I've been enjoying it. I almost want to take Baleful Master out because I don't want to give them extra cards. They do got some little counter spells. I would have loved a Duress or a Thought Seize. I'm not going to give my kingdom for it this time, but I'm just saying I would like it. Fire Covenant actually seems pretty good against them. They have a ton of little Duralds. Massacre Worm as well. We'll take Baleful Mastery out. We still have Infernal Grasp and Murderous Rider and Chandra. Like, those are all ways to kill creatures. Um, we can take call out as well. I think that's probably a little slow, so. Hmm. Well, I think this is okay. We have turn two in front of grass, three this guy and Gix. We have this in case we get um, either one of our combo pieces. We can also cycle this guy to get a blood crypt. So beautiful. Just a gorgeous gentleman, you know? Actually, because we have double mountain, I might just get swamp so we can infernal grasp without having to take two. We don't need triple red for anything. It's pretty good. Yeah, we're just going to play this guy. And then next time we can play Gix. Uh, I will 100% be blocking that. They did not... 
They did not ruin it in response. That's fascinating. Don't be something good. It's a char. Yeah, that's an easy that's an easy swap. Um I feel like we're we're on we're on track to be losing a lot of life. That's okay. They didn't loot before and they're probably not gonna loot now. They are gonna loot now. Why didn't they loot before when they cast their legendary creature? Like the game stops you and it's like, hey, this is gonna untap. Would you like to loot? And they're like, no. But it's free. And if you're planning on looting at any any other point in the future, like, might as well just do it now, you know? No. No, oh, well, alright. It's your choice. Oh, are we gonna draw? Oh, exciting. Talisman. Sure. <clears throat> You like that it's, the game's going to track day and night for the rest of the game, but it won't be relevant anymore. But it might be because, like, if you oh, if you get Graveyard Trespasser back, it's still relevant. That's what's funny. Man. Oh, Glorber, huh? So do I pay 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 life and go to 5 and kill kill their whole board? Or do I just Infernal Grasp this guy and take two? I think we just Infernal Grasp that guy and take two. That seems better than going to five. Why, this is a land. <laughs> oh, beautiful for spacious skies and amber waves of grain. One, two, three, four. That's a shieldy but a goodie. That's terrible. These are terrible jokes. This guy should never, never stream again. Oh, we don't get to draw the card? That's unfortunate. All right. Is this game over? What's? I don't even know what's happening anymore. Bribery? Thunder Maw. Okay. So we're going to eight. We're gaining two from Shieldred. Then we can draw two if they attack. If they don't attack, we're just absolutely... Okay. I mean, we're going to draw two and gain two because we're taking two. So we're going to gain four over the course of our turn. This is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... We have eight total mana. Yep. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can actually play both of these. We can pay seven to Fire Covenant. Doesn't seem great, but I mean, we go to five, but we get to see their whole hand right now. So it's actually not the worst. Oh, sure. I miss when only fun cards were in cube. I mean, you gotta evolve, you know? Well, they got Shreddy. Yep, you got him. So they go to two? Oof. Wish I man, I should have I should have blitzed that tenacious underdog, am I right? Like I don't know how to respond to that and be like, well, I'm sorry my cards aren't fun. Like, I don't know. I, I feel like our deck is pretty medium. We haven't actually done anything broken. And like at, well, like what point are you referring to when there's like what?
<laughs> whatever, man. <laughs> you fucking weirdo, dude. Like, what a weird thing to Hopefully someday you'll have a fun time in Cube. What? I had fun. You're the one complaining. <laughs> whatever, man. 3-0, thanks for watching. Appreciate you. I'll see you next time.